Zhao Lucy welcomes another costume drama, Three Beauties to Help Out, Two from the Sea and the Dream, Zhao Lucy's Secretly Can't Hide has just finished, and another good drama ushered in good news. There are a lot of familiar faces in this drama, the heroine type of Xiangxia. In addition to Zhao Lucy, there are also three beautiful actors, and the most important thing is that two of them are from the Sea and the Dream. How can this not be expected? The TV series Shenyan starring Zhao Lucy has been finalized for a few months. This drama is adapted from Zingling's novel of the same name, and it seems to have some connection with Kaiyang Gujujin. The play tells the story of the inspirational water-condensing beast Yen and the son of the true god Kujin, whose divine power has been sealed, met by accident and embarked on the road to find the immortal. It is worth mentioning that this show also has two actors from the sea in the dream. Kuihang has excellent academic performance since he was a child. He is a very good male star. He participated in the role with a slight smile and is very attractive, but it seems that the attention is not so high. The other protagonists are already able to be the protagonist, but he seems to be still supporting actor, but that doesn't mean his potential isn't that high. Chen Hongjin, who played in the dream of cooperating with Xiao Zan, gradually lost himself in the midst of power and status, and did illegal and criminal things. Marriage is also a disaster. This character is hateful, but also very pitiful. Kui Hang once participated in the Happy Boys competition, and also won the top 7 in Changchun singing area and the top 300 in the country. Very powerful, currently developing in the entertainment industry. In the TV series Shen Yin, Lan Fang played the role. Looking at the stills, I think he is quite handsome. In addition, CAO Farron, who played the role of Little Red Riding Hood in The Sea and the Dream, also participated in Shen Yin. She looks super beautiful in a purple dress. Some people say that her ancient costumes are also very good looking and very recognizable. CAO Firin is beautiful, but she still plays a bad role in this play. Looking at the stills is not very good, the eyes are not gentle at all. In this way, on the contrary, I look forward to it even more. There are three beautiful actors in the play that are also worth looking forward to. CAO Firin was one of them. Next is the starring Yanger, who should play the second female role in this drama. Yinger's acting skills are actually very good, and she has been playing soy sauce all these years. Having played supporting roles in three consecutive TV series, she actually has a very clear understanding of herself. There will always be a group of actors who will be complained about when they play the heroine, but they are amazing when they play the supporting role. Just like Mimang among the imperfect victims, she doesn't have many scenes, but she is frequently searched. Yinger's acting skills conquered the audience. Is a powerful actor. The third actress is Kana. An actress full of exotic styles. Works that have participated in include Illuminate You, Ming Hulu and so on. The first show of the film and television drama has already been out of the circle by accident. Zhang Heo Heo in Ming Hulu is really amazing. The TV series Shenine starring Zhao Lucy is coming soon, and the number of reservations is exceeding 1 million. The story of the weird elf and the arrogant prince is another fairy tale drama. Are you looking forward to it? Zhao Lucy may star in the Xiangxia drama Fish Offering, partnering with Wang Hedi. Another beautiful fairy tale drama. Zhao Lucy can be very good this year. The response of the two modern dramas broadcast is not bad, especially the youth school drama Can't Hide Secretly, which has increased her popularity a lot, and her image is getting better and better. Comma since these two dramas, Zhao Lucy's only drama to be broadcast is The Hidden God. As an actor of the new generation, it should still focus on increasing popularity, so Zhao Lucy's next drama will most likely be a costume drama, and he will also star with the handsome guy Wang Hedi. This costume drama is Fish Offering. This play is adapted from Fu Hu's novel Offering Salted Fish to the Master. Zhao Lucy's dramas in recent years have been very good, and the male protagonists of her partners are also all good-looking online existences, and Wu Li's The Stars are splendid and Yang Yang's Let's Try the World are very good. And Zhao Lucy is very suitable to play the beauties in costume dramas, because she looks sweet. The male protagonist Wang Hedi, as a representative figure of the new generation, has attracted much attention for playing the male protagonist Dong Fan Kiking since he collaborated with Yu Shuxin in the fairy drama Kang Linju, and through his handsome appearance and acting skills, he gradually quota resources are also getting better. This year, the youth inspirational revolutionary historical drama Youth in War was aired. Wang Hedi's performance in the drama was remarkable. In addition, Wang Hedi and Tian Ziwei's costume drama Da Fang Da Jing Ren is also being filmed recently. According to Reuters, this drama should be very good. And there are so many actors in this drama, it should be a very good drama. The Xiangxia drama Fish Offering will be led by Bentu Films. In September 2022, the drama will be filed. 
It mainly tells that many years ago, an eminent monk had glimpsed a glimmer of life in the bloody future of Sima Jiao, the great double master ancestor of Jinjin Immortal Mansion, and left him a Buddha speed, hoping that he would have compassion for living beings and save them kill the heart and hide it. Later, Liao Tengayan, who was forced to go to Liangshan, accepted the challenge, directly tore off the red thread wooden beads with both hands, and subdued Sima Jiao by relying on the instinct of salted fish, becoming the person who changed him in the life of the people. From then on, Liao Tengayan started the task of guiding the big devil to be good. Judging from the plot, this drama will also be a fairy tale drama with sweetness and abuse. If there are really two good-looking Zhao Lucy and Wang Hedi starring in the follow-up, this pair of CP should also be remembered. After all, they are all very eye-catching handsome men and beauties, and the themes are also very good, and Goose Factory leads the production, so S plus Zhaangshu dramas can't run away. Let's all wait for the arrival of this drama. In recent years, Zhaangshu dramas have been very productive. This year, from Luo Yangtze's Long Moon Ember to Ziozun's J. Bonyao, the popularity of Zhaangshu dramas has reached a climax, and we have also seen Zhaangshu dramas the market is still very hot. Therefore, Fish Offering is very worth looking forward to. The Zhaangshu drama Fish Offering may not start filming until the end of the year or in 2024. It will take some time before it starts broadcasting. Friends can read the novel of the same name written by Fu Hua first. Let's see how the hero Sima Jiao will be played by Wang Hedi. Zhao Lucy may star in the Zhaangshu drama Fish Offering, partnering with Wang Hedi. Another poignant fairy tale drama. What do you think of the combination of Zhao Lucy and Wang Hedi? Will it be a very good fairy tale drama? Welcome to discuss and leave a message. Pay attention to Ji Jian and give you a different excitement. 02. Lotus House, Dodge Chang Yi, who relies on acting skills for a living, but was amazed by the male number 4 who resembled Andy La. The plot of Lotus Flower House is getting more and more powerful. When the big brother Shan Gudeo appeared in front of Li Ziangai, he was shocked, heartbroken, sad, and all kinds of emotions came to his heart. Li Ziangai's emotions reached the breaking point, and he was good at interpreting delicate emotions actor Chang Yi, his acting skills have also been brought into play to a great extent. Among the young actors in the film and television industry, Chang Yi's appearance is not the best, but his acting skills are highly recognized by the audience. He can obviously rely on his appearance, but he has been working hard on acting. At present, it seems that Chang Yi's route is correct. Lotus House Chang Yi has the most roles, but apart from Chang Yi, many viewers are also amazed by the supporting roles in the play, including Yi Gang, the fourth male actor who plays Shen Gudeo. Shen Gudeo is Li Ziangai's elder brother. The two of them once depended on each other and lived a life of hunger and food. Later, they were rescued by their master and brought back to teach martial arts. The life of the two of them was easier. Because Li Ziangai is very talented, although he is a junior, his martial arts have always been higher than Shen Gudeo. Li Ziangai entered the martial arts world at the age of 18, and soon won the title of the number one master in the world. Originally, Li Ziangai thought that it would be a joyful thing for him to venture into the rivers and lakes with his senior brother, but the differences between Li Ziangai and Shan Gudeo became more and more serious. Ten years ago, Shan Gudeo was killed, Li Ziangai followed the clues to avenge Shan Gudeo, got poisoned and competed with Di Fisheng, Li Ziangai lost half his life. Although he was lucky enough to save his life, Li Ziangai's martial arts were greatly reduced, so he stayed away from the disputes in the rivers and lakes and lived an ordinary life as Li Lianhua. However, Shang Gudeo has always been Li Ziangai's heart knot, and he blames himself. After 10 years, Li Ziangai and Shang Gudeo's son Fang Duobing became good friends, and the two solved many cases together. Li Ziangai soon discovered that each case was related, and it was also related to Shang Gudeo's death. Li Ziangai and Fang Duobin joined forces and finally forced Shan Gudeo to show his real body. It turns out that Shan Gudeo didn't die at all, and his fake death actually has an ulterior secret. After 30 episodes of Lotus House, Shan Gudeo, who has been living in Li Ziangai's memory, appeared as the biggest villain in the play, making people many viewers were caught off guard. In Lotus House, Shan Gudeo is played by the actor He Gang. This role is the most contrasting role in the play. Not only Li Ziangai and Fang sickness, but even the audience thinks that Shen Gudeo is a hero who is righteous. His death he is framed by others, but he does not know that the biggest villain in the play is him. Li Ziangai lost love, family, friendship, and fame overnight, all thanks to Shen Gudeo. Seeing the actor He Gang, many viewers felt inexplicably familiar. Although Shen Gudeo in Lotus House has long hair and beard, his eyebrows and eyes are still very similar to the King of Heaven Andy La. He Gang was born in 1982. At the age of 18, 
He entered the martial arts school to learn martial arts, and won the runner-up of martial arts in the provincial competition. Because he looks very similar to Andy Law, this also became an opportunity to imitate Andy Law in the show, and in the in the audition process of the TV series Anita Mui, he again won the championship and had the opportunity to play the role of Liu Jiahui in the drama. The prototype of Liu Jiahui in Anita Mui was Andy Law, and he gang's performance in the drama also won the audience's approval. After Anita Mui, he gang officially entered the entertainment circle. However, the face that resembled Andy Law was an opportunity for him, but it was also a shackle. He gang could not play Andy Law all the time. He wanted to break through. In Sword, Golden Wedding, Yutian Too Long Ji and Legend of Chang'er, he gang has played roles, but due to his appearance, since he gang debuted, his roles have been mainly supporting roles. As he grows older, he gang's acting skills have become more and more proficient in recent years. In addition, he no longer deliberately imitates Andy Law. On the contrary, he gangs resources for film and television dramas are better. Whether it is an idol drama or drama, the audience can see he gangs figure. In dramas such as Ideal Shines on China and Home Earth Power, the audience also saw he gang. He gang plays a very important role in the play in Lotus House, and he also plays a key role in promoting the plot, whether it is the heroic temperament when he first appeared on the stage, or the villain charm after the role reversal, he gangs interpretation of the role is very good. It is not easy for Higang to play the villain without making the audience disgusted but gaining recognition. What will be the ending of Shang Gudeo in the follow-up plot of Lotus House? Having done so many bad things, the ending of this character should not be very good. I also look forward to the follow-up plot. Higang can have a more exciting performance. 03. Zhao Liang posted a group photo of her son for the first time, and the trendy matching of mother and child attracted attention. Think about wearing 100 yuan shoes. During the summer vacation, Zhao Liang rarely shared photos of her daily life with her children, not only group photos, but also photos of food and drinks. It seems that Zhao Liang enjoys the parent-child time spent with her children very much. Zhao Liang has been sharing content related to raising babies since the beginning of August. She posted the baby coaxing artifacts she bought and shared them with netizens in a variety of ways. Subsequently, Zhao Liang posted a series of photos on social media, including a group photo with her son Xiang Xiang. In the photo, the mother and son are interacting closely, thinking about snuggling up to their mother, raising their calves and kicking, they are so cute. It is said that Zhao Liang learned martial arts with a lot of thinking, which is really rewarding. Ying Baio, Zhao Liang's son, under her leadership, like other mothers, wants to record all the details. Therefore, Zhao Liang showed everyone the image of the scar left by her son. The scar looked like it had been burned. Zhao Liang took this photo as a memory. There are also images of various delicacies, including gluten, crayfish, duck neck and duck wings, various pastries and so on. These images look rich and close to life. It can be seen that during the days of taking care of children, Zhao Liang also pampered herself a little and tasted all kinds of delicacies. Clever netizens also discovered that the street photos shared by Zhao Liang seem to have been taken at Wanda Golden Street in Langfang. The photos also include landmark buildings in Xiang County, Langfang City, traditional style fans, and special delicacies. It can be speculated that Zhao Liang should have returned to her hometown with her son recently. This also explains why she seems more gracious and close to the people. Zhao Liang also posted a photo without makeup. She took a selfie while lying on the bed with her mouth pouting. She did not use any beauty filters. Her state looked natural and relaxed. Perhaps such a sense of comfort can only be achieved at home. Despite her ordinary appearance, Zhao Liang is very well dressed. She is wearing a hat of a certain fashion brand, which costs up to 4,000 yuan, she wears a pink striped short sleeve and a red coat, each price set around 100 yuan, and the shoes she wears are also of a certain brand, the price tag is thousands of dollars. But for a big name star, such a matching price is relatively low. The shoes worn by Zhao Liang's son were discovered by fans to be shoes designed for children by a well-known sports brand, and the price is about 100 yuan. This shows that Zhao Liang is very caring for her children, and she does not lack care in terms of eating, drinking and playing. Some netizens broke the news that Zhao Liang returned to Hebei this time to participate in the filming of director Zhang Yimao, so she stayed there for a long time. According to the video IP she posted in Shanghai, it seems that she has returned. Before Zhuwa's house suffered a disaster, Zhao Liang also made a donation. After receiving the Magnolia Award, Zhao Liang seems to be resting and adjusting her state recently. No new projects have been announced other than his participation in the film. It happened to be during her son's summer vacation, and she was photographed taking the child to Disneyland and having dinner with her ex-husband Fang Xiaofeng, unabashedly showing her image as a responsible mother. 
Zhao Liang specifically talked about her son in an interview before. She emphasized that she will not be an overly strict mother, and only hopes that the child will be happy and healthy. In the future, he can follow his own interests and do anything. Fans are very happy that Zhao Liang is willing to share her life with them, but it is a pity that there are no works of Zhao Liang broadcast in this summer. We all look forward to walking with the Phoenix to meet the audience as soon as possible.